sometimes you have to use your imagination to write what I call a story song. You have to imagine the people, the circumstances, the plot. You have to drag it all from the back of your head. But sometimes the story is already there, and all you have to do then is to tell it. Well, this is one of those times. The song in question is about my wife's uncle, Frank. Now, Frank had an interesting life, having flown in the RAF in World War II, where he was known as Lucky Frank. Lucky because he was off ill and unable to fly on the night his regular crewmates were shot down while on a night raid over Germany. When he recovered, he went on a rotor for a while as a sort of locum navigator, taking the place in any crew that was shorter man. However, he wasn't too lucky for the crews he spent a few sorties with, and two of them were shot down soon after Frank left them and the regular navigator came back. Frank was demobbed at the war's end, but he volunteered to go back during the Berlin airlift to fly supplies into the blockaded city. In Frank's words, they flew in everything from coal to bog rolls. For his service, both in the war and during the airlift, he was awarded medals, but he kept them hidden away in a drawer, and when we asked about them, he dismissed them as his little pieces of tin. Indeed, we only found out about his service at all when we met some of his cronies in the British Legion drinking. He was very modest about what he'd done. And Frank was what you might call a careless man. I mean, he lost a leg in a bizarre sheep-related moped accident when driving back from the pub one night. And a few years later, while working on the railways, he lost a finger by getting it between the buffers of a shunting train. Never married. Lived in a tiny cottage near Malham Cove in Yorkshire for most of his life with his mother. And his mother had a matching artificial leg, having also lost one of hers, non-sheep-related as far as we know. And when Frank died... We were startled to find both Frank and his mother's spare legs in the garden shed. His was a right leg, hers was a left leg. I have a feeling she bequeathed it to him when she died some years before in case he got unlucky with the sheep again. Never had much money. The story in the song is true. The medals did come in handy in later years, and the last verse is true too. I was stood by his graveside when a stranger... Well, listen to the song and hear the full story. It's just a little piece of tin In the bottom of the drawer It's just something from the war He doesn't like to show All the memories of the friends From days gone by That won't come back again Shot from the sky He still remembers when He used to fly And one his little piece of tin he was never one to boast He never told us what he'd done Though we knew he'd made the run The airlift to Berlin And we knew that in the days it went before He'd gone on bomber raids all through the war And then they sent him home, but not before He'd got his little piece of tin Never traveled far, never gave a toss Never found a wife, never felt the loss Never had much money, never had no gold Never seemed to worry that he was growing old In a cottage in the dales, there a man could be content but it's hard to find the rent with little money coming in But souvenirs of war won't ever let you down He goes up to the drawer, he brings the medal down And goes up to the store that's in the town And sells his little piece of tin On a winter's day In a Yorkshire town one lone bugle played as they lowered him down And as I turned to go, a stranger came up to me And he said, I've something here that you might like to see Held there in his hand was something that I knew a box of Air Force Blue, I knew what lay within He said I bought it at an auction for a song But I can't 
keep it now, it just feels wrong. So I bought it back where it belongs. He faced the grave and dropped it in. Returned a little piece of tin. It's just a little piece of tin.